which of these live-action adaptations of Rudyard Kipling's classic tales deserves to rule the jungle? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be comparing 2016's The Jungle Book and 2018's Mowgli Legend of the Jungle to see which one reigns supreme. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Round 1 – The CGI Bringing the stories of The Jungle Book to life in live action is no small feat. Disney's 1994 adaptation had Mowgli communicate with real, non-verbal animals, but sacrificed the magic of the original stories in the process. So for their 2016 blockbuster, they went all-in with a budget of $177 million, much of which you can bet went toward crafting the movie's talking animals. Sometimes rules were meant to be, well, not necessarily broken, but certainly bent, and definitely reinterpreted, don't you think? It was clearly money well spent. The animal characters are photorealistic without feeling generic or faceless. Critic Richard Roper rightfully called the visual effects arresting, while Rotten Tomatoes concluded that the film set a new standard for CGI. In the wake of Disney's success, director Andy Serkis needed to ensure that his take on the source material would be distinct. And one of the ways he accomplished this was through the film's CGI. His production company, The Imaginarium, are the industry leaders in motion capture a technology that allowed him to make the animal characters not only extremely expressive, but also to somehow resemble their actors. The jungle is no longer safe for him. The pack won't accept him. The effect was undeniably captivating, and their expressions were unlike anything we'd seen from CGI creatures before. But the distinct look also made them feel a bit cartoonish. I nearly had you. <laughs> The CGI work in Mowgli is proof that Andy Serkis is far from finished pushing the boundaries of motion capture performance. But in the context of the film, his creatures don't work quite as seamlessly as Disney's. The Jungle Book takes the first round. Winner, The Jungle Book. Round 2 – Music and Score For the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities, not forget about your worries and your strife. Disney comes into this round with a strong advantage. The music from their 1967 animated Jungle Book is iconic, and remained just as catchy a half-century later. Composer John Debney was brought on board to update the score, and did so with great reverence for the original. There's very little fault to be found with either Debney's reimaginings or his own original contributions. Though Disney opted not to make the remake a musical, the characters still performed a couple of classics. Unfortunately, they paled in comparison to the animated renditions, and some reviewers felt that they were out of place. When you watch Mowgli Legend of the Jungle, Chances are that you don't think twice about the music, and that's a good thing. Except in rare instances, the average cinema-goer pays little attention to the score, letting it blend in with the action on screen. In a non-musical film, the score is there to emphasize the atmosphere and tone of the movie, highlighting both emotional and narrative beats. In this sense, Nitin Sani's score is absolutely flawless. It's a complement to the film's narrative that elevates the cinematic experience from start to finish. Though John Debney did a great job with The Jungle Book, it suffers from having to live in the shadow of its predecessor, and the musical numbers break the narrative momentum. Oh, oh, we do. I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you, talk like you, too. The music in Mowgli consistently helps to push the story forward, so Mowgli wins this round. Winner, Mowgli Legend of the Jungle. Round 3 – The Story when Disney announced a live-action adaptation of The Jungle Book, there was a lot of skepticism. Disney's 1967 animated version is a cherished childhood classic, one that delivers a kid-friendly but nonetheless thrilling adventure. Bravo, bravo. 
an extraordinary performance. The assumption was that this remake would either fall short or at best be a retread of familiar ground. Despite the odds, director John Favreau and screenwriter Justin Marks managed to retell the story in a way that was at once familiar and fresh. How long did you really think you'd survive against me? Longer than your father did? Longer than Aquila. Sincere, sweet, fun, and engaging start to finish, The Jungle Book is a story we'd gladly watch on repeat. You can be with me if you want. I'll keep you close. For those who haven't read Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, the tale told in Mowgli might feel a little unfamiliar. Be that as it may, it actually comes closer to Kipling's tales than any of the Disney versions. True to Kipling's work, it dives deeper into the laws of the jungle, as well as the backstories of the animal characters. I lived in a king's palace in a cage just like this, fed through a slot. Man's entertainment. Unfortunately, reverence for source material doesn't always translate into a well-plotted narrative, especially in the case of short story collections. Mowgli's story is compelling, but uneven. But I'm not bound by those laws anymore, Akila. And this is not the jungle you once knew. Though we can appreciate the effort that Circus and screenwriter Callie Cloves put into their adaptation of Kipling's work, at the end of the day, The Jungle Book tells a more satisfying, engaging story. Winner, The Jungle Book. Round 4. The Cast Nobody can put together an all-star cast quite like Disney. We didn't know it until we heard it for ourselves, but Bill Murray was born to voice Baloo the Bear. Am I in the right monkey temple? And he's not the only great choice. Ben Kingsley, easily one of the most respected actors in the industry, is fantastic as Bagheera. You can't fight him like a wolf. You're not a wolf. Fight him like a man. Now go! So are Idris Elba as Shere Khan, Scarlett Johansson as Ka, and Lupita Nyong'o as Mowgli's adoptive mother. You're mine. Mine to me. No matter where you go, or what they may call you, you will always be my son. Add Christopher Walken and a few other familiar voices, and you've got one serious cast. Of course, none of this would matter if Neil Seti hadn't been such an endearing Mowgli. We're buddies, aren't we? Putting together a cast to rival that of The Jungle Book should have been an impossible task, but Mowgli managed to do so, likely in no small part thanks to Andy Serkis' reputation, respect, and connections. Calling on actors he'd worked with in the past, he lined up Christian Bale as Bagheera, Benedict Cumberbatch as Shere Khan, and Kate Blanchett as Ka. Are you afraid of me, man cub? Circus himself stepped into the role of Baloo. In a move that set the film apart from The Jungle Book, Mowgli also put a greater focus on the human characters, and Frida Pinto as the villager Meswa is a welcome addition. With two such stellar casts, both films are neck and neck, until you consider Rohan Chand. I am not a man, but neither am I a wolf. Though Seti's performance is excellent, Chan delivers a definitive and more complex live-action take on the character, earning his film another round. <laughs> Winner, Mowgli Legend of the Jungle. Round 5. The Characterization of Beloved Characters Oh my gosh, is that King Louie? This is so exciting. The legends do you know justice, sir? The animals that populate the world of the Jungle Book are some of the most beloved characters in pop culture. And in Shere Khan's case, one of the most revered villains. Then you should also know that everyone runs from Shere Khan. In reinventing these characters as CGI creations, Disney had their work cut out for them. But they largely succeeded. Even with a new look and voice, Baloo is that same old bear you grew up with. Bears don't hibernate in a jungle. What are you teaching him? Not full hibernation, but I nap a lot. Meanwhile, Idris Elba managed to elevate Shere Khan to new heights, delivering a nuanced and menacing vocal performance further bolstered by superb character development. Does my face not remind you of what a grown man can do? This Shere Khan is three-dimensional, both literally and figuratively. 
In Mowgli, which more closely follows its source material, Circa seems to have gone out of his way to distinguish his characters from the Disney iterations. Nowhere is this more apparent than with Baloo. Played by Circus, Baloo is a grizzled, tough guy kind of bear. Gruff, stern, and strict with the cubs in his charge. You can't join the pack until you have passed the running. Pay attention! It's an interesting approach, but fairly or not, hard for the average viewer to accept, given that Disney's Baloo has become so iconic. That's pretty big talk, little britches. With that being said, the movie's unique and original approach works much better with other characters, like Bagheera and the members of Mowgli's wolf family. While Mowgli delivered fleshed-out characters with distinct personalities, the characters in The Jungle Book speak most directly to our hearts and our sense of nostalgia. For that reason, Disney takes this round and the competition. Winner, The Jungle Book. Gotcha! Come on, Mowgli! We went to the tree! On, we almost made it! Did we pick the right film? Be sure to debate it in the comments, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to Ms. Mojo for more entertaining versus battles.